So we will be drawing number 14 now. And what we will do would have to first get a working horizontal line in the plane. So we will start with the horizontal line. And then we will be picking first. I will be starting from the left hand side. And I will work based on the dimensions that are given to us. We have been instructed to use half of the dimensions in centimeter that is. So first thing we are going to do, we are going to draw this small circle of diameter 38 and 38 um, that means it has a radius of 19 and since we are, having, we are going to be using half of the diameter, half of the dimensions given to us that means we will be using 0 0.8 as our radius that is 19 minus 19 to our bar. Let's start again. Oh shit. <laughs> no worry, that was my 0 0.9 centimeter. So the, the radius of 0 0.9. So the So next, we will draw the bigger circle. We circle with a um, diameter 78. The diameter 78 divided by 2 will be 38. Uh, 76, sorry. Divided by 2 will be 38. 38, the which is supposed to be our radius. Divided by 2 will be 19. So we will be doing another, uh, another circle with the radius 19. So, still from the same point, I call it point A as you please. Now, from here, we have been given a dimension that the distance between the left hand side circle and the right hand side circle is at the distance of 152 mm divided by 2, that would be, um, that would be 76 mm. So, we just have to measure 76. The center of the next circle. Now we have to have a diameter of 50 from the right hand side of 50 millimeters. That means that is a 25, 25 millimeters radius divided by 2. Since we are going to have the dimensions, we have 12.5. Okay. So we put that in the center of the circle. Okay. Now, what's next? What's the another information given to us on this? Now, if we look at um, our instructions very well, at the extreme end there, we have something, we have an angle coming to it at an angle 30. But if we trace it to the tangent of the circle up here, We'll be having an angle 90, that means 90 minus 30, right angle is triangle. So here we'll be having an angle 60 upward, and this is how we can get that. Right, so what next? At the distance between the middle of the circle and the center of the circle, we want to have two millimeters, which is 52, so, um, 51 millimeters, which is 5.1 centimeters. You know what I mean? So the center is 
I'm familiar to draw a circle with the radius of 35, which is going to give us a different type of one. Also, I draw that's the biggest um, circle. Then. To get the smaller circle, we are going to use a diameter of 25, meaning we are having a radius of 12. And 12 divided by 2 gives an dimension of 6. Please draw this in question because it is really very hard to draw a circle when you have, uh, like I said, when you have a very small radius. It is more difficult. Alright, so the other information we know is that from the tangent of this to somewhere around here, we are going to have the radius of 30. So we need our suspect to do that. And this side is 30 degrees, this is 90, and this is only 60. So let's try to fix it. Make sure the rest of it properly so we get a very good. So what do we do next? Uh, the point line comes from the front of this to the center of this. Yeah. So, this is just a drawing line. So now with this information, ladies and gentlemen, we look carefully that we need to draw an arc. Intersecting the tangent of this to this, intersecting the circumference of this to this at um, with a radius of 76, 76 divided by 2, that will be 38. So we have our arc at 38. So what do we do? My normal method. So what I like. To do just like the other thing, I like to use what works for me. So, this works for me. So, to move further, we we'll, um, put our point here to draw the arc. We draw another one here to draw the arc. So, then we draw the arc, the tangent circle arc. That's something like this. But I think that doesn't work for me very well. I'm going to have to shift. If we are to take a look at that, we will we'll notice that there is a very soft curve around this side with the radius of around 50. If we look at it around this side, we will see that we took a from here to this point at the radius of 152 which is uh, 72 this is uh, 76 this is my own dimension That line, we are going to have to draw the cones. Now, 
to the tangent of this so what we do is we align the base of our protractor on this line on our first horizontal line and make sure that the tangent of this um circle that curve of um, radius 50 meters at all Questions and your doubts will be answered. What a beat. Okay, to continue, we are going to have another radius at the radius of um, 85, which is our measurement 50. Now, from which point of this we have arc cutting from this to this on these lines the radius of 1.6 meter which is 1.9 is 0 0.9 